Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be continuing What If Naruto Had Cremation. But before that, uh, I would like to remind you all to leave a like on my video. It'll help me out a lot and it'll push it out there to more people so more people can see my content. But anyway, let's get right into the video. After Killer B finished explaining what Naruto will be faced with when he goes to fight the Ninetales, Naruto goes and he finds Hinata, or attempted to find Hinata, which he was successful in. So, after he finds Hinata in the massive group of people, he tries to talk to Hinata. But in the midst of right, like right before Naruto could say anything, Hinata tells him not to bother. And he's like, why, like, I didn't even get to say anything. Like, he's froze because he doesn't know what to do. And Hinata stops and Naruto stops while everyone else is still moving. And Hinata hugs him, but then she pushes him away. And at first she looks mad, but then she's sad. And then she's glad that he's back. And Naruto is like, are you okay? And she tells Naruto that she hates him because she left her alone by herself with Kakashi. You left her alone. Like, you left me alone. That's basically what she's saying. And Naruto was like, I'm trying to get my parents back. When you want me to get my parents back, to get the life that I never had. And Naruto... As he's saying that, Hinata tells Naruto that she wants him to have that life that he wanted. She wants him to be able to wake up one day and see his parents. She would love, she would want to see nothing more than Naruto waking up one morning to see his mom and dad. But her problem is, is that you're too busy, focused on your dad and your mom that you're not seeing me. Like, in your vision of you waking up that morning to see your mom and your dad, where am I, Naruto? I don't have anything anymore. Remember that? You you made sure that all of that was burned to the ground, along with, along with yours, right? The th things that we held most, that house that you were supposed to have, that was supposed to keep me safe, remember? Um, yeah, when you burned that down and left the village, I didn't have a place to stay. Staying in a hotel. But, um, well, in a, yeah, whatever. So, like, Naruto tells her that if she was so bent out of shape about it, why didn't she tell him? And she tells Naruto that it doesn't matter now because now he's back, he's going to get stronger. And eventually his parents are going to be back and there isn't going to be any time for her and then she jumps off and naruto try like goes after her but by the time that they catch up to everybody they're already at the place so naruto goes in with killer b and he begins to fight the nine tails and at the same time of him fighting the nine tails um a lot a massive army of zetsu just randomly pops up in front of i'm gonna say uh i'm gonna say the stone village no yeah i'm gonna say the stone village so yeah a massive army appears outside a massive zetsu army appears outside the stone village and by nightfall the stone village has fallen and naruto at that by that time has control over the nine tails or somewhat some power so naruto is currently trying to find and apologize to hinata for not thinking of her in any shape way or form and sasuke tells naruto that um they have to go and Naruto's like, what do you mean? We have to go. And Itachi tells him that there's there was an attack by Madara and Obito. They attacked the stone village and won. And 
Kakashi tells Jiraiya that they have to get back to the village now. And Jiraiya was like, okay, I, I can see if we can make it there. So everyone that was at the Leaf Village grabbed on to Jiraiya and he turned, he uh, activated Sage Mode and they teleported back to the Leaf. Or close enough to the Leaf, as close as Jiraiya could get them before it in ending up, you know dead so he had to save enough chakra for himself to stay alive and oh uh, that sucks um anyway so like when they teleport back to the leaf village naruto sees hinata and hinata starts walking into the like into the leaf village because they appear right outside of it and Naruto walks up to her and asks her like what's going on and Itachi grabs Naruto and tells Naruto that they don't have long they need to go now and Naruto tells Itachi that this will only take a few moments and Hinata was like turns around and was like no it won't it'll only take a few seconds you sorry I know do I care no now go and Naruto stops and like as she's walking away Naruto mumbles underneath his voice like under like under his breath he tell well he doesn't mumble it he says it out loud he's like so it's you too huh I'm just losing everything again okay that's understandable I guess and Itachi was like Naruto are we leaving now and Naruto looks at Hinata and was like, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me here. And Itachi was like, okay, guess you gotta move. So Itachi, Konan, and Sasuke all vanish. Well, including Naruto. So <laughs> when they vanish, Hinata stops and like she... Like, she stops and she thinks about what she just said and what just transpired. And she realizes that Naruto didn't have anything to begin with. She grew up with parents. And Naruto didn't have any from the start. He was hated before he even knew why. So, Hinata tries to press one of um, Kakashi's intel people to tell her where, where Sasuke, Naruto, and, uh, and Itachi are stationed, like where they base up, and none of them wanted to tell her, so she actually asked Kakashi, and Kakashi tells, uh, tells Hinata, knowing that Naruto and her had some type of a pass together, um, Hinata, like, Kakashi tells Hinata that they went to the Stone Village to try to fight off the rest of the, um, Zetsu that are there, or whatever those things are called, and Hinata was like, okay, and as she's walking out the door, Kakashi tells her that if you're going to bring him back, don't get yourself killed in the process, and you should probably bring some help, and Hinata stops, and Kakashi tells her that he's not stupid. He knows that look in her eyes. He's seen it before, but he also seen those exact same people get killed because they only went out there with just themselves instead of an actual group. So, I'm gonna sign a team. And you're gonna be on it. I'm expecting you to come back alive, Hinata. And Hinata turns around and she's like, right. And she walks out the room. And Kakashi turns back and looks at the desk. <clears throat> takes a deep breath and was like, what the hell did I just get myself into? So he goes and he assigns a team. And the team, <clears throat> the team, which is only two people, which why he didn't understand why Kakashi yeah so the two people that were on the team were Jiraiya and Hinata 
so those two were tasked with bringing them back. So Jiraiya tells Hinata that this ride can get a little bumpy given the fact that he hasn't used any seals that he's placed in the stone village in a while. So when they teleport to the stone village, Naruto, Sasuke, Itachi, and Konan are already there killing off the rest of the Zetsu. And Naruto and Itachi immediately senses Jiraiya's and Hinata's presence and start fighting toward their direction. And when they get there, they see Hinata, you know, fighting off as many Zetsu as she possibly can. And Jiraiya currently weighing la laying waste thousands using the, um, what was it again? Toad art, toad art, toad oil. And then it was like fireball art, nothing. It wasn't fireball art. I think it was just fireball. Some shit like that, right? I know I'm not tweaking. Somebody back me up in the comment section here. Anyway, so, um... Like, Naruto, like, incinerates the few that are in front of her and, like, jumps down and asks her, what is she doing here? And Naruto's in, like, his little blue-tailed state, just firing off fireballs at, at people. And Hinata tells him that she's here to bring him back to the leaf village. And Naruto looks at her and was like, you do know I'm a fugitive, right? Like... I'm not a fugitive, but a prisoner of leaf villages. And she was like, I know. I'm not here to tell you that, though. I'm here to tell them. And Naruto looks behind him, and he sees Itachi, Sasuke, and um, Kona. And Jiraiya tells Itachi that there's no need for any of this. He knows what he's talking about and Naruto is well enough prepared and so is everyone else. And Itachi tells Jiraiya that whatever is coming, they need to be prepared for it. And the only way they can be is if someone has enough power to defeat it. It doesn't have to be Naruto. It doesn't have to be him. It just has to be someone. And Hinata was like, right, and that someone doesn't have to be Naruto, like you just said. So let him go, and we'll go back to the leaf village. And this conversation never happened. And Sasuke chimes in and was like, do you really think I'm going to let you take my arrival? <laughs> you must be as stupid as he is, honestly. And Naruto turns around and tells Sasuke to watch his tone and then he turns his back and looks at Sakura not Sakura fuck Hinata and tells her that if she was so worried about him why didn't she display that worry when they were in the village and she not like she kind of just freezes up and Naruto tells her like he puts his arm he puts his hand on her shoulder and tells her that like yeah she un he understands that she was mad that she is probably still mad and is probably still hurt that he would leave her behind ever so easy as easy as he did and Naruto looks her in the eyes and he t promises her to that he's going to come back to the leaf village just not right now and naruto also asks her if you were in my shoes and you had this power you had everything of yours taken away from you wouldn't you want that back and hinata tells naruto that not everything was taken away from you you just gave a lot of it up. And Naruto, thinking back on it, Hinata was right after Naruto saved Hinata from Neji. Hinata was always there. Like, through thick and thin, even when Naruto was at his worst, she was there. And the Nine Tails was like, oh little romance going on over there isn't it 
And then Naruto in his mindscape tells him to shut up. Before he puts the seal back on him. And Naruto is like, okay, touchy. I understand that now. And Naruto tells Hinata that the only reason why he left was because he knew if he cared too much about one person that they would just get hurt anyway because normally when people are too strong when people can't get hurt physically the people that can't hurt them go after the second best thing which is mentally and the only way that someone could affect me mentally Hinata is through you and Naruto not like tells Hinata after Naruto tells Hinata this she like kind of freezes up and Naruto turns around and he looks at Jiraiya and he tells Jiraiya to take her home and Jiraiya puts grabs Hinata and teleports out and when they teleport back to the leaf village Kakashi asks them where's Naruto and Hinata tells him that he's going to be coming back on his own time and Kakashi looks at Hinata and was like I'm glad you're not dead but you didn't bring him back you know this mission's a fail right and Hinata was like yeah I know it's a fail but it's a pass in my book and this is where I'm in this part off. I know this part was a little sappy, but if y'all got through it, you did. And maybe if you like that, you dropped a like on the video. But without further ado, this is the end. So see y'all in the next one. Peace out.